Hello everyone, I am Chase at Rocky Mountain HPMC giving you a closer look at the Yosemite jacket from Scorpion. All right, so today we're giving you a closer look at the Yosemite jacket coming from Scorpion. This is gonna be a full four season jacket, so you're waterproof, windproof, you have a thermal insulated liner. You're gonna be right around that $400 price point. I think there's a lot of cool features that are built into this jacket. Now, before we talk about the features of the jacket, we're just gonna talk about fitment real quick. So I've got Steve here helping me out. Now, Steve is about six feet tall, 170 pounds, and just over a 40 inch chest. Now, according to the sizing guide, he measures right between a medium and a large. So we've actually got Steve wearing the size medium today. Now, a couple things with fitment in this jacket you'd want to keep in mind is that it's going to have the thermal insulated liner along with the waterproof liner built in, and those are going to be removable. But what I would recommend is that right now, Steve's wearing nothing but a t-shirt underneath his jacket. If he were to be wearing, say, some thicker base layers along with it, he'd probably go up to a size large. So keep that in mind. If you're going to wear extra base layers with it, it might, you might want to go up one size. But if you're going to be happy just rocking the thermal insulated liner that comes with it, then you can get away with going that one step down. But remember, this is an apparel item. We have our fit guarantee. So if you get a, a jacket that you're not happy with the sizing or the fitment, send it back to us in brand new unused condition, and we'll give you free shipping both ways on your first exchange. So what we're gonna do with this jacket, we'll cover construction, we'll talk about pockets and venting, and we'll also talk about protection and cover the ins and outs of everything that you're getting here for around, again, around that $400 price point. So starting with construction, okay, you're gonna have a 500 denier base material, which is still a very heavy duty material. And then over the shoulders and the elbows, you can see here, that's gonna be a 1680 denier, which is very abrasion resistant, very heavy duty material. You can see lots of reflectivity that's built into the jacket, reflective piping down the sleeves, which I like. All your zippers, YKK, you're gonna have weatherproof zips as well. And if Steve lifts up his arm for me real quick, you will see you have adjustment straps here on each side of the waist. You're also gonna have adjustment straps on the arm. You're actually gonna have them, I'll show you the other arm here, one on the upper bicep, and then you're gonna have an adjustment strap down here on the lower arm as well. So lots of adjustability going along with that, and again, really good construction. Now when it comes to pockets, okay, you're gonna have four pockets on the front, you're gonna have a very big large pocket in the back as well, we'll show you that here in just a minute. But your two pockets on the chest, okay, you're gonna have these mesh panels here. Now these are gonna double as venting panels as well as pockets, so if you unzip it, you can see they are gonna be nice and big pockets. And then down here just below those, you can see you're gonna have these two big cargo pockets down here at the bottom. Now keep in mind too that this shell by itself is not gonna be waterproof. You're only waterproof when you have their H2O block waterproof liner zipped in. So these pockets here are not gonna be waterproof. But with venting, okay, going along with those two pockets in the front, they did a good job. So along the sleeve, along the arm, something I really like, you're gonna have these zips that go from all the way at the upper bicep all the way down to about the wrist. Okay, again, there's those weatherproof zips. You're gonna have a nice big zipper garage here. What I like though is that they're two-way zippers. So if you want, Steve can undo this from the top and bring it down, or he could do it from the bottom and go up, and you're gonna have, again, one of those on each arm. Going along with that, Steve lifts up his left arm for me. You're gonna have these torso zips here. So again, two more vents that you're gonna have a lot of airflow going into the back, and then we will show you the exhaust vents here in just a moment. So that's gonna be the front of the jacket. Now before we talk about the armor, a couple things I do wanna show you here. So at the wrist, you are gonna have these Velcro adjustment straps. Also you have these big zippers down here at the bottom, so that's gonna open it up, make it easier to get over your gloves or just put the jacket on. Also another thing I do wanna point out that I like is the waterproof liner here on the inside. At the end, you have this neoprene cuff that actually has a thumb hole. So when you put this on to really make sure you're gonna keep water out of that glove and from running into the jacket, I like that you do have that neoprene cuff attached to the waterproof liner. Now when it comes to protection, okay, you're going to get Sastec armor in the shoulders as well as the elbows. That's going to be CE rated. So if you're not familiar with Sastec armor, it's a high-end armor. When it warms up, it gets soft and malleable, so it's comfortable to ride in. But when a shock is introduced to it, it does a very good job of taking and absorbing and dispersing that energy. So it's a very high-end armor. So you're getting that again in the shoulders and the elbows. Now keep in mind that the back pad that you're getting with this jacket does come included. However, that's not gonna be CE rated SAS Tech. It's just gonna be a PE back pad, but you can upgrade that to a level two CE rated SAS Tech armor pad if you do want to. So that's the armor that comes in the jacket. Now if Steve faces the back for me, if you look at the back here, again, you're getting more reflectivity up here around the collar. Now you're gonna get a good shot of it. You're gonna have a neoprene cuff or neoprene collar up here, so it's not gonna chafe. Looking at the back, okay, here's your big vents that we talked about. Pretty much go all the way down the entire length of the back. Again, you can see that back pad that we just talked about. Remember, you can't upgrade that. And then down here at the bottom, that's that giant cargo pocket that we mentioned earlier that you're gonna have in the back. 
All right, Steve, face back to the front for me. So now we'll have Steve go ahead and open up the jacket. So you're going to have a couple snaps in the front, big storm flap. Now, if he opens this up completely, you got a few zippers here. So on the inside, you can see first liner you're going to see, that is your waterproof liner. Okay, again, that's going to zip in. And then after that, you're going to see here, well, I'll show you on this side a little bit easier to see. Here is going to be your thermal zip-in liner as well. You can see the zipper where that zips in. And then also, you're going to have one waterproof pocket on the inside. And as Steve actually shows you on the left side here, that waterproof pocket is going to be on the left side in the actual waterproof liner itself. So again, your waterproof liner, H2O block, your Everheat thermal liner, those are both removable. So if you want to take those out, just remember though, if you take them out, that shell by itself is not going to be waterproof. Thank you, Steve. And so that is it. That is the Yosemite jacket coming from Scorpion. Again, you're going to be full four season, great protection, good venting. This jacket does everything pretty good. So if you have any questions about it, you can comment below. Give us a call or chat live online. We'll get your questions answered. And also remember that from here, okay, remember you have your liners that zip in. If you wanted a shell only that's going to be waterproof, another jacket from Scorpion that I would recommend looking at is going to be the Yukon. You step up in price, but you're going to get a little bit more technical, a little bit more protection when it comes to that SAS Tech armor, and that's going to be shell only. So if that's what you're looking for, I would check out our video that we have on the Yukon. Remember guys, orders over $75 ship free, and if you like this product spotlight video and you want to see more like it, click subscribe to us on YouTube, and to pick this jacket up, you can click on the link or head over to RockyMountainATVMC.com. A couple other colorways that you can choose from as well. I'm Chase at Rocky Mountain. We'll see you on the trails.